Want to grow your business and take it to the next level? Well, here we all are. And we are going to show you how through hard work, perseverance, and a little help and know-how, you can take things to the next level and push the success of your business even further. Let's get going. Hey, welcome everyone. Paul Wright here and welcome to the next episode of the Practiceology podcast where we teach you the science of running a highly successful and profitable allied health business that works without you. And, and I've picked up Leonard Fay. Leonard, thanks for joining us on the podcast. Uh, pleasure to be here. Now, I was chatting with Leonard before. Get, get Leonard's story. Leonard's got a classic. Uh, he was the first chiropractor appointed by the Canadian Track and Field Olympic Committee back in 1984. He was one of the first three honorary fellows of the Royal College of Chiropractic Sports Sciences, he started and originated the five MPI 12-hour seminars. We laughed about how good a 12-hour seminar would be. He wrote a textbook on the modern paradigm of manipulation practice. He's produced programs, DVDs, joint manipulation. He spearheaded the paradigm shift experienced by a chiropractic today. He's the creator of chiropracticmentor.com, which teaches doctors and students the, how to master manipulation skills of the pelvis, spine, and extremities. Hey, that's a pretty that's a pretty good CV, Leonard, for a guy as young as you. Yeah. I'm only sixty years in practice, so <laughs> sixty years in practice. All right. Well, let's see what Leonard can share with us from his sixty years of experience. I must admit, Leonard. No one has ever come on the podcast with sixty years of experience. So, mate, you are right. you are you are a one off. And you've got seven minutes. Can, can we cram it in your 60 years into seven minutes? I hope so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's get started and see how we go. Leonard, uh, who is your ideal client currently at Cairo Mentor? What, what, who, who are you looking for? Well, it's usually practitioners that are struggling to make a professional income because of the uh, inability to really diagnose what they need to do and then being able to do it. So it's the skills of palpation and manipulation. And these are, these are not just chiropractors though, that you're getting, these are, your ideal client is not just chiropractors, you're using- Oh yeah, this a lot physiotherapists and osteopaths and uh, general uh, manual therapists in Europe. All right, so question two then. Sorry. The what? So, so question two then. So what, if they're your client, what, what's the, is the problem you solve? It's lack of technical skill. What's the problem that you're addressing with your program? Well, the problem is they don't really understand what the, the uh, biomechanics of manipulation is and what the neurobiological mechanisms are. And they really don't understand that manipulation has to be kind of like exercise therapy. It has to be repeated and repeated in order for the soft tissues to respond. And uh, most don't know Davis Law, which is a corollary of uh, Wolf's Law, and that soft tissues respond to uh, impose demands. And uh, when the joints don't move, the tissues around the joints degenerate and lose their elasticity. And after a series of manipulations, that starts to reverse. And then we add uh, stretching and exercise. But uh, people are trying to exercise joints that are dysfunctional because they've degenerated and uh, their tissues aren't normal. And so it's not like exercising a normal joint in, a, in an athlete and getting that response. You're dealing with somebody who's uh, uh, desensitized to uh, what's going on and they've learned to accommodate so they don't move these joints that are immobile. And that's what manipulation has to be centered at. So question and, uh, three then, Leonard. So, so what are the typical symptoms that people ex these people experience when, when they don't have the manipulation skill? What, what do they, what happens? Well, to the these patients come for two or three visits and then leave, because, uh, and then they ended up, they end up not having a professional income, so they get depressed and they think they're in the wrong profession, and 
uh, it, it's very uh, debilitating when you've spent years and years and years qualifying to be something, and then you find out that uh, you're not having the outcomes that uh, you think you're going to have. Mm. So question so, four then, Leonard, with about three and a half minutes left, what are the common mistakes professionals make when they try and correct this problem of lack of skill? What, what, well, what they really are? don't spend the time to learn how to do it properly. And then they don't learn how to get the patient to feel what they're doing. They think that a patient can understand what they're doing. And unless a patient feels the before and after changes, then they don't get excited and they don't return and they don't send others. Yeah. So it's learning to transfer what you're doing into the patient's feeling mechanism so they feel a difference after you've treated them. Okay, so question five, Leonard, with about three minutes left. I know I'm rushing you too. You've got 60 years of experience, okay. and I'm rushing you into seven minutes. <laughs> but so, so what's a valuable free action, Leonard, that our podcast audience can implement to help them solve this? What, what can they do about their lack of skill? Yeah, well, they can watch me uh, demonstrating at, on YouTube <laughs> on a clinical savant series. So they're going and to YouTube. There's also so they're going to in YouTube, YouTube Mastering Manipulation, which is on YouTube. And they'll see me palpating and adjusting and uh, explaining how, how you can deal with a patient so that they return enough times that you can actually get a very positive result. Yeah. Okay. And, and question six, then, Len, with about a minute and a half left. So a, a free resource, where, where, where can they go? And so they can see on YouTube. Well, YouTube is free. I know that's free. Is there something else? Have you got something? Where's your website? Yeah. Where can they if go? If they to send me to ljfay at gmail.com, I will send them 56 pages of an outline of what they should know. And they can read that and assess for themselves how skilled they are. Most of them don't know that they're, they're, they don't have the skills to be super busy. I have patients coming from all over the U.S. and Europe and everywhere. And why? They go by all kinds of people who don't know really how to do manipulation, where it should be done, how often it should be done, why it should be done. And, uh, and that's a big dilemma. So what's the, what's the email address, Leonard? Where do they go? Ljfay at gmail.com. And, and Fay is F-A-Y-E. Ljfaye at gmail.com. And I will send them a, uh, a file link that they can print out. Brilliant. Well, with, with about a minute left, Leonard, 60 years of experience. I've got in my, in my question list here, what's the one question I should have asked you that would give great value to our audience? But I'm going I'm to pick my own question, if that's okay. What, yes. Give us the biggest tip in 60 seconds, the biggest tip you've learned, from biggest business tip from 60 years in, in practice. Well, I've found out <laughs> that uh, people don't believe that we can do what we can do because everybody's trying to do it in a short period of time. And Davis law takes time. And if you want tissues to change, that's where you'll really get functional change. If you're just looking for pain relief, they can take Advil or whatever they want and they'll get pain relief, but they want function. They want to be able to do something that they can't do. And you have to know what that is and that, that becomes your goal and their goal, getting back to doing something they couldn't do. Fantastic. So patience, patience and not looking for the quick fix. Leonard, you, thank you so much for giving up your valuable time to join us on the podcast. What a great, what a great. Right. I've enjoyed this and <laughs> uh, I think you've got a great service going here. Thank you for inviting me.
Fantastic. Now, if you haven't watched our regular or, or tuned in for our, uh, our regular practiceology demonstration, uh, head to mypracticeology.com. You can also find a link there to have a chat with me if you want to hand growing your health business. I'll see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.